2002, a new book hit the world like an asteroid of understanding. It promised clearer communication, lasting love, and kissy face happiness. It was also a big fat success. More than 50 million copies sold in 50 languages around the world. John Gray was playing our song, but did we really listen? Ladies, do you want to know the best way to say to your man, you're doing a great job, keep up the good work? Simple phrase, less nagging, more shagging. I love it, I want a bumper sticker. Less nagging, more shagging. Because when you're tending that garden, you're taking care of each other, man, you don't care about anything. You don't care about rug burns on that. You're throwing pieces of clothing off, you know, coming at each other. I'm going, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? And she's going, whatever. Now, <laughs> this is a very different kind of whatever. <laughs> If I had to describe this show in one sentence, I would probably say it's a fun and wild ride of laughs and storytelling and good times that leaves you thinking about it all the way home. But sex, sh I mean, we both want the same thing. We should be the one place where we could come and drop our hangups and drop our walls. But we got to remember, we're coming at this from two different planets, right? When I look at sex, it starts physical and then it moves emotional, right? With Megan, it starts emotional, and then it moves to the sheets and the pillowcases and the drapes that need mending, and so on. <laughs> but here's the formula. The guy gets sex, he loves the woman more, this makes the woman love the man more and give him more sex. It's the true circle of life. We love food. <laughs> So a lot of people have come up to me and they said, you know, uh, what's this show about? Because the book is so old. The book came out years and years and years ago. Well, the book did come out years and years ago, but there's been many copies of it, many versions of it, and it continues to do really well today. And I think that's because John Gray, Dr. John Gray, has capitalized on a lot of the universalities of being in relationships. And those universalities are timeless. And uh, Eric Koble, who's the writer of the show, uh, has done a great job of incorporating those universality so when we go up on stage and we talk about Mars Venus and the book and the show it's a lot of things that people can relate to so they delight in that and that brings the laughs and also makes them think and brings up some good points that they can take with them and hopefully go home and improve their love and their relationships in their lives I actually dragged him here but did you enjoy it baby that re that's really not true, but I did enjoy it. I thought it was great. The show was just like my wife, uh, just wonderful. and <laughs> Great show, everybody. Get out and see this as soon as you possibly can. I have to say, this was a fantastic program tonight. I laughed, I cried, I was emotional. It was a fun-filled night. I highly recommend it.